Selling our 2017 R Pod 177 made by Forest River. 19 feet long. It has a 30 gallon propane tank instead of a small one. It has hookups for two batteries to include a battery cutoff switch and a switchable to either battery. It is solar ready and set up to charge either battery via solar. All you have to do is buy the panels. Manual lift, stabilizers all the way around. It does have a slide, which is the kitchen area, which I'll show you momentarily. Upgraded wheels. I have raised this up three inches with a riser kit from Forest River and added Goodyear Endurance tires 15 inch storage pass through there's a picture of it better than that added this basket on the back and it is reinforced on both sides versus just a center point which is only a one and a quarter inch normal hitch point you have your other side of your pass-through. When we raised it up, we modified it. Went from a single step to a two step to make it easy to get into. Added a modification of a hand grab on the inside for the screen. Screen separates from the door to allow you to have either one or both open or closed as you need to. Coming inside, entry point. On the door, your TV will be on the left wall. It does swivel to allow you to see it from the bed. We have put a storage uh, on the left-hand side. Coming in, dining area on the right, sleeps four or sits four comfortably. Can't seat up to six. There is storage under both bins that I have hinged, and I put a uh, piano hinge on the right side to hold it up. Up top, again, the pictures may do better justice, but you have storage all the way across the front. Storage bins stay with it. Here is the microwave and convection oven, something different many small trailers do not have. Three-way Dometic refrigerator, uh, electric, propane, and battery storage underneath. Storage over the kitchen area, great kitchen area here. Looking at the stove, two burner sink is right here underneath this board. Can be used as a cutting board. Storage, more storage, and more storage. These have been modified, added storage, another, oh, I say three and a half by 12 inch across on both the top and the bottom drawers. Bedroom, radio, oh, I forgot to say up here, added uh, DC outlet, plus two USBs, plus a voltage meter. Into the back, radio, added a pinout cutout switch, so you can actually ensure that it's shut off even in ghost mode, whereas it draws from the battery, as most R pods or small trailers do. Tail holder is added, added the shelves in here, give you extra space, and actually made it an L-shaped shelf. Added the bar across here to allow you have privacy. This is a one-year-old mattress. It is an RV queen. Underneath you have storage. In normal R-Pods, the vent comes out underneath into the storage area. I have modified this and had the vent come straight out to allow the heater, which works really good, uh, to heat a little bit and circulate better. Up top here is the air conditioner. Works fantastic. Have a full bath here. It's called a wet bath. Shower, sink, shower curtain, toilet, all self-contained. Mirror upgraded the uh, thermostat. Please Think about buying this. Do have a cover for it for the winter. 
And if I didn't say, the front dinette area does fold down to a full-size bed, comfortably sleeping too. It's all good in the trailer hood.